Hey everyone, Jason here back with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to crop and edit photographs in Windows 8 using Windows Live Photo Gallery. Uh, Windows Live Photo Gallery is a part of the Windows Live Essentials package. Um, it is a free package that comes included with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. has also been included with Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows XP to a smaller extent. Um, it, and um, by by a smaller extent, I mean it was a secondary program to Windows Office Picture Manager, which has since been discontinued um, with Windows 8. So here is the, that is the program in which it will be using. If you do not have it for whatever reason, if you cannot find it, you can download it on the internet. I will put the link below. It's a free piece of piece of software from Microsoft. Um, and yeah, so yeah, so this will be using. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're talking about cropping and editing photographs, it seems simple. Um, open your, um, open your, open your folder with all your photos. In my case, I have I have a folder on the desktop named Photos. It has 24 pictures in this. I do have it set to the extra large icons option, so you can all see um, what I what I'm talking about here. Make make it easier for me to see. Um, and what I want to get rid of with all these photographs, but one in particular is what, what I'll be talking about is the, um, I want to get rid of this, get rid of this brown background we see here, this brown looking like kind of clipboardy, corkish looking background I used to scan with, um, to scan the image, to hold the image down, and I want to get rid of this and make the image full screen as we see here. So, uh, what you want to do is, first of all, click your image, so you have it selected like so, and, um, in most cases, the, Windows um, Windows Live Photo Gallery will be will be the default program on most co most computers. The default um, photo um, editor, default photo viewer, as you see. So if I click this picture right like so, it'll open up in the Windows Live Photo Gallery. If it does not, however, you want to right-click the image, go to Open with, and go down to Photo Gallery. You can also open it in the HP Connected Photo if if you have an HP computer such as I have. You can open it in Movie Maker, open it in Paint, paint to do some small edits. Um, the, there's a photo application within Windows 8. Um, you can do you can open it there as well in the Windows Photo Viewer. But in this case, I, I do want to go into the Win, Windows Live Photo Gallery like we see here. So go ahead and click it. By doing so, it'll open up again in that same option as I just showed you. Um, and what what we want to focus on here, you can first of all you can do some small edits within um, this within this little pane we see here within within the screen on the bottom here. You can um, scroll through your pictures. There's 24. So if I go ahead one, obviously I'm going number two, number three, and you can kind of sort through your pictures and sort so maybe sort which ones you want to delete quickly. You can also edit right and, or sorry rotate right and left if they're is a photo that is uh, ro rotated wrong. We can change that fairly simple. Um, but in my case, I want to go a little bit further in depth. We, I want to crop. I want to get rid of this ugly looking um, background here and make the image full screen. So I want to go to Edit, Organize, and Share. And by just hovering over it, you can see it says Open in the Photo Gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And by doing so, it'll open up the photo and the entire folder within the photo gallery, the Windows Live photo gallery. And I can go ahead and hover over the image, view a thumbnail of it, and uh, to make sure to double check. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to double click the second image and make it full screen. Now, um, there, there, you can do a lot within this, within this pane here. Um, and within this edit ribbon here, you can you can kind of sort through your images right here. You can manage again. You can rotate right and left. You can delete. You can make a copy of the image. You can um, tag and caption maybe maybe a person. You can uh, rotate or so you can rate. You can flag. You can edit the properties. You can auto adjust within this adjustments pane. You can crop what you'll be using in a minute. You can um, change red eye. You can uh, retouch. Maybe get rid of some get get rid of some features, and maybe you don't want somebody in there. You can you can make small adjustments. Um, you can straighten, noise reduction, color exposure as well. Change. You can fine tune within the adjustments pane. You can make some make some edits to the effects and kind of change the color. And also, if you don't like your changes at the very end, you can revert to the original and go back to this exact file. You can also close as well. Okay, so that's a little um, little tour of the edit 
edit ribbon. Um, what, what we'll be focusing on here is the adjustments pane right here, the area here as I like to say, and we'll be, we'll be focusing on the crop option. So go ahead and hit this crop option, and by doing so we'll bring up a grid. And uh, as you can see, it kind of, it it pops up in the middle of the screen like so. So I can I can move it around and just uh, using the mouse and just move it around wherever I want. I want to get it as close as I can to this to the edge of the image, to the edge of like this whitish drapish color as I can, and uh, the top at least, and then go to the bottom and drag and just select the part of the image you want to crop. It basically is what you want to do. Get it. Um, the closest to the edge in my case I want. I want to maybe pull it in a little bit to uh, leave leave myself some room. And I just I just want to focus on uh, make sure to get all the people in the image and the mo majority of the image. And uh, so I ha once you have it set the way you want to as far as cropping, you want to hit um, hit this hit this option. So go ahead and go so go ahead rather and hit the crop option again. And by doing so, we'll automatically crop for you. And there are your changes. Um, in in some cases, however, um, you're you're done. You're done. In the, you're done right after this. In some cases, you may want to further adjust. You may want to straighten the image. Um, you know, and I'll, and I'll automatically straighten. Let's say you scanned it at a weird angle. Um, it'll it'll try to straighten it for you. Sometimes is um, not does not work very well. But it, the option is there for you. So after you crop the image, in my case, I'm done. I'm done with the image, and I want to close it out and maybe continue on to the next one. So what you, what you want to do to double check here is on your keyboard, in order to save the changes, hit the Enter key just to double check. Sometimes what will happen is um, when you hit, when you hit the crop, it it will not actually crop, and you just want to be double check and hit the Enter. And then you can go ahead and close the photo gallery using the X in the right hand corner. So I'm going to close the close the uh, program, and it'll, it'll it should save automatically. You want to give it a minute, and you can see that your changes have been reflected with the new picture being full screen like so. And you can you can open up the um, open up the image again in the basic photo gallery. And um, you see that it is that it is full screen, that um, that there's no ugly border, and that's basically how you crop the image using Windows Live Movie or a Windows Live Photo Gallery um, on Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So this is how this is how you do this. So it's very simple to do once you get a hang of it. Um, if you have any trouble with this, again, it's a fairly simple process. But if you have, if you have a fairly if you have um, trouble exploring understanding how to do this please let me know um, I'm here to help um, if if you have any questions let me know like I guess I comment below subscribe to me if you like this video give it a like then guess for watching this video tutorial have a nice day bye bye